with all the talk in Hollywood currently centered around Avatar The Way of Water, it's interesting to see that James Cameron says he might not be directing Avatar 4 and 5. And it's not because of backlash against Disney or anything, it's because of, well, um, limited time left. James Cameron is 68 years old, and his directorial filmography consists of less than 10 films. Again, we're not talking about producer or executive producer, just films he's directed. I've talked about it before. I love every single one of his films that he's directed. So it's interesting to see that recently he's been talking about the future of Avatar, specifically working on part three to put it out you know, next, and then what happens next, considering he said, Avatar 4 and 5 scripts, he's got those, he knows where he wants the story to go, but he said he might not direct those films, and he said it's because of other things he wants to do before he has to give up this lifestyle and no longer be directing. He has some other projects that he's been working on that he would love to do, but time is limited. His time, his clock is ticking, and Avatar 4 and 5 could take another decade so he's not that excited about the idea of directing avatar till his life is over because he wants to do other things and he told this to empire magazine and other outlets as well and he says that he's saying everything he has to say about the way he feels about colonization climate change the rich the poor the nature of the world and all that in his avatar trilogy so beyond that, what more could he have to offer to more Avatar films? So, yeah, you know, um, I get what he's saying. You guys have to understand what he's saying. It's like the George Lucas thing. Like, George Lucas sold Star Wars because anytime he did anything new Star Wars, fans hated it. They literally made an entire documentary about hating him, ruining their childhood. So he wanted to step away because he didn't see Star Wars as valuable anymore and the fans all just hate him and everything he ever did. James Cameron has gotten a lot of that recently. Even when he's a producer, executive producer, who just slaps his name on something because he has to. And honestly, you could see he's getting Avatar out there and it is really what he wants to make. And if he feels like it's time to let it all go and go work on something else, Hopefully, whatever his next project is doesn't take a decade to put out, and hopefully it's another thing that changes the way we look at films. And I know Avatar gets a lot of flack, but let's be real. There's nothing else like Avatar out there. That's kind of just honestly there. You can see that. So we'll see what happens next, but if he does choose to pass Avatar to somebody else for Disney, and Disney owns the IP, so they more than likely will if these films are successful... I hope it's somebody that's a uh, you know good pick, that's somebody that James Cameron trusts. Give us Robert Rodriguez so I can be happy. Or give us Guillermo del Toro so this film can take till 2098 to come out. And by then, Guillermo will be a head in a jar along with Cameron and Rodriguez.